Piku Niku is the best game released in 2019 called Piku Niku. Here you play as a red tic tac from the limited edition cherry and passion fruit tic tac and you just tumble around doing menial work for other people. In Piku Niku, you can do anything. anything. You can kick shit, you can romance, you can give the gift of life, you can make an artistic statement. Wowzers, it's just like real art! You can swim in poop water. Hey, that's a new one. If you're a fellow shit swimmer like me, you're gonna like this one. Piku Niku starts off by introducing our main villain, a sentient piece of gum that someone spat on the ground who promises free money in exchange for junk such as food and water, things no one really needs. Clearly, such a generous act must be too good to be true. Nah, nah. Wake up, get dressed, and off you are to collect your free money for the day. As I just said, Pico Nico is truly the boundless game. You can collect money, you can scare people, <coughs> you can play Among Us, Among Us! You can spend 35 minutes on the first area of the game because they didn't realize all you had to do to progress the next area was kick this spider. Wowzers, look at those graphics! The indie scene continues to amaze me with this high fidelity to real life. Can you move? I... Uh, I guess so, yeah. Ah! So, Pico Nico introduces a few of the most creative mechanics in any game pretty quickly, that being jumping, attacking, and... LEAN! <coughs> oh, finally. I, I... I see. I see light. I... I see... It's kinda dark in here. I'm not scary? Does a life-size tic-tac not scare you? In an act of vengeance against its captors, the Piku set on a journey to kick as many jelly bean people as possible. WHY WON'T YOU LOVE ME?! The Piku is truly a majestic being, capable of not only withstanding kilometer high drops, but also using its feet to latch onto stuff like a hookshot and becoming one with the phone cable. Oh shit. Pottery? I love Harry Potter. It's amazing how games can toy with your emotions. The Pico is also incredibly smart, as exemplified by its critical thinking capabilities and intricate puzzle solving skills. The Pico also loves corrupting part of my recording. You know, there's something oddly therapeutic about kicking human skulls in my cute funny game. Oh hey look, a human skull! As if nothing else could be better about our main character, the Piku is shown to be a master of balance and also immune to radioactive waste. But nothing would prepare me for the upcoming horrors of having to use the elevator. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh... Wow, this is, look at that! I can't believe the developers were so kind as to put my bile in the game as a character. The volume of a cone, a quadratic equation, the area of a circle, trigonometry, or the volume something. of a cylinder. It can only mean one thing. Mr. Sunshine's a fucking nerd. Well, it turns out I was right. Mr. Gigabrain over here wants to bury the entire seed in their lava to create a new artificial paradise on top. So much for a sentient brain. Ah! Lasers! R really? Really slowly moving lasers! Oh, oh shit! Platforms! B plat platforms! Platforms disappearing and, and gravity not working. What the hell? Well, not like breaking the laws of physics is a rare occurrence here. Oh shit! Here it is! Uh, our, f our final battle against Mr. Sunshine! Ah. Yeah, that works too. The Piku can also call upon its friends to play local co-op. Unfortunately, the Piku plays Genshin Impact. Okay, so the main story might be over, but that doesn't mean you saw everything. When you think the game is only like three hours long, I think it's time to do some bug catching. I give this game a 9 out of 10. The remaining 1 out of 10 is the inability to grab shit. I think that would really elevate this game to a 10 out of 10, but I, I you know, I understand. Not everything is possible in the game, and, you know, there's only so many things you can program in. 
People tend to criticize and complain about cash being coughed up to open crates, loot boxes, Happy Meal boxes, whatever. However, the true RNG of profit didn't come out in the 